Hey guys, for this video I wanted to show you another way that you can put accent marks on your words uh, when, you're, when you're typing in Spanish, whether it be in Microsoft Word or in an email or some other online program. This seems to work fairly well. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to make it so that your keyboard is in an international language. And it's not too difficult to set up, and once you have it, it makes things uh, even just a little bit easier. So I want to show you how to do that. So again, we're assuming that we're using Windows, a uh, Windows-based system. So I think I'm on Windows 7 right now. So I'm going to go to the Start menu, and I'm going to go ahead and go to my Control Panel. Now when you go here, if yours looks like this, then I would change it so that it goes by category. It makes it easier to find where we're going. So once you're in the category, we're going to click this right here where it says Change Keyboards or Other Input Methods. And then the first screen that pops up, we're going to click Change Keyboards. And then right here, it shows you what your default language is. So for me in the US, it's going to be English, United States. So I'm going to go ahead and come down here where it says Keyboard and click Add. I'm going to scroll down just a little ways. It's not too far. And you'll find the English US. And I'm going to go ahead and click the one that says United States International. And I'll hit OK. And then I'll hit OK again. And you'll notice right away, maybe you didn't notice, but there's a little pop-up right here that, that popped up. And I hit OK again. So let's go ahead and go back to Word. And, uh, I'm in Microsoft Word right now. Uh, I'm going to click on this box down here. And you'll notice that it says, right now I have US selected, so I'm going to change it to United States International. Okay, now I'm going to hit apostrophe and then the, whatever vowel I want that accent mark to be on. So A, apostrophe I, apostrophe O, and so on and so forth. This also works for the tilde on top of the N as well, so you're just going to hold down the shift button and then hit the tilde button, which is to the left of the number one, and then let go and then push your N, and it'll come up like that. So that works fairly well and it's pretty quick. And I want to show you one other thing. If you want this international language to be the default language, so right now I didn't change that. If I restart my computer or go into another program, I think it reverts back to the US. So say you want to keep it on that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my uh, settings where I went earlier change keyboards and you notice that right here it says my my default input language is English in the United States so I'll click that I'm going to change it to the United States International and I'll hit OK and OK so now when I log on to the computer that should be my default language and of course if you want to change it back you can just click this little icon down here on the bottom and change it to US and that's pretty much how you do it if you have questions let me know otherwise thanks for watching